welcome to my TNA Impact Wrestling Review, which we were live. And yeah, it's been a few days since I've gotten a video up, but it's been busy lately when you got a deal with a lot of finals and stuff. But I said I would get to this video, and I'm going to review Impact Live tonight. And when pretty much the show kicked off with Eric Young talking about he wanted to know who the special guest referee was, so it, since it will be a former world heavyweight champion returning TNA kind of this list on this site talking about multiple champions that could be coming from Sting, Rob Van Dam, uh, Jeff Jarrett, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Bully Ray, um, a lot of people. But pretty much the person that came out was Bully Ray. Bully Ray has returned to TNA Impact Wrestling. And he says, do you know who I am? I'm the special guest referee for tonight's World Heavyweight title match, he says. So, Bully Ray is back in TNA Wrestling, people. He is back. And the show pretty much kicked off with EC3 and Tyrus coming out. EC3 pretty much talked about... You know, God bless EC3 and everything, and talk about his run that run and everything, and what he's doing. But tell Anderson told him to shut up and ask what the fans voted for. 85% voted for Falls Count Anywhere match, so it was a Falls Count Anywhere match with EC3 and Tyrus. Pretty much was alright match. Tyrus kept getting involved but when he kind of got to the end, and the, the, the numbers game pretty much took down Mr. Anderson and EC3. He pretty much hit the 1% or winning the match, him and Tyrus beating him, so. He went over, still undefeated. So, yeah. Kurt Angle was talking to Bully Ray and Bex. says, where have you been in the past pretty much eight months and everything? He says, uh, Kurt, do you know who I am? He says, before he walked away. Um, Gail came with talking awesome. Kong in the back end. She's ready to take out the dollhouse tonight. We got team up together. And Kong pretty much shook him and walked off. Beatdown Clan came out. BDC, MVP, Kenny King, and low-key. But, no, um... No homicide, as they all had masks on, and he said this, and so it's Destination America. This is live, huh? So we're going to make things uncomfortable. Unfortunately, somebody jumped homicide somewhere, and wherever he was at, his hood or something, and pretty much got jumped, and now it's going to need shoulder, so, shoulder surgery now for homicide. And he talked about the rising, thinking they could have done it. And he talked about U.S. government oil fields and stuff, and that, and I say like the fans called them, you know, thugs and everything and stuff. But you don't talk about the government and everything, how they do this, how they go into countries and take things out. But when we attack somebody, you call us thugs. And pretty much MVP said, thug is pretty much a new code name for nigga. And pretty much MVP was trying to be real with it out there. They blocked out nigga and everything. But he said the BDC were pretty much going to talk about the rising, which they established as thugs. But until the rising came out, pretty much Drew Galloway talked about we had nothing to do with homicide, we didn't touch him, we didn't do anything. And pretty much MVP talked about the flat scans and the keyboard warriors out here trying uh, and everything, trying to make money off of wrestling when they're not even in wrestling. He said he cares about the money and pretty much getting up to everything. So the rising said they had nothing to do with homicide as they pretty much got an attack the BDC as MVP went against Galloway then. Pretty much a good match, I'll say that. It was an alright match and everything, so it pretty much ended with Drew Galloway hitting the future shot DDT on. What did you just shot DDT? Yeah, pretty much hitting the future shot DDT on uh, MVP winning the match, but Eric Young came out then. As they all brought, Eric Young came out with a steel chair beating the hell out of everybody, so pretty much the BDC and Eric Young. Beat the hell out of them, and they said they haven't seen the alignment with these guys since January when they screwed Bobby Roode out of the title and stuff. And pretty much, um, they also saw James Storm having a gift to come out for um, Mickey James. He came out and he had this whatever gift it was, and he called Mickey James, talked about her career, her music career, her in ring wrestling career, and that she is one of the best. She is the best, and everybody said, Open it, open it, and it was a very custom guitar and everything. And says, so, well, why don't we take a selfie, huh? Pretty much take a selfie with the crowd, took pictures and everything. So Magnus came out, and he didn't want to, like, let's not ruin the party. He had a helmet for him. Pretty much back at his old gimmick when uh, Magnus first came into TNA. If anybody remembers Brutus Magnus, that was his gimmick coming in, the TNA and stuff. 
and then everybody told him to put it on, put it on. And he pretty much left and then won it and pretty much met Storm. So I got kit to give for your son Donovan. And he helps you and anything. And he, can, he just knows from his his uncle James, he says. And then Magnus pretty much took the guitar and hit James Storm, Storm over the head with it, um, Jeff Jarrett style. And Storm pretty much got up and started smiling and walked to the back then. So I don't know how this is going to go, but it's going to go somewhere. MVP pretty much was talking to Eric Young and he says, well, what, what is this all about? What do you want? He pretty much he says, listen, we took the title away from Bobby Roode and we could take the title away from Kurt Angle today. Tonight, he says. And Kenny King said, you're going to go with this? He, Kenny King was this guy's Looney Tunes and stuff. Um, they showed a video of um, pretty much Gail Kim with her husband, Robert Irvine, Chef at some live show. And Terrence Terrell's out there, I guess, with his kids, and he told to get out and everything, so. Yeah, and they're pretty much showing, like, a lot of video packages. And it came to a tag team match with Austin Kong and Yelkin going against the Dollhouse, Marty Bell, Jade, and Terrence Terrell. Pretty much Terrence Terrell got, and them got the win. Pretty much, um. Pretty much in with the finisher and everything. And it pretty much turned into... Oh, okay, yeah. But, uh, like I said, uh, pretty much turned in, um, pretty much everybody was in finishes in the ring, and one was able to get the pin on, uh, Gail Kim winning the match, and pretty much after that, and then, uh, pretty much Awesome Kong and Gail Kim beat up one of the Dawes members, and, yeah, they pretty much beat the hell out of him in the implant buster, and he defeat on, I think it was Marty Bell, and they had to carry, or Jay, they had to carry out of the ring, man, the, after the match. So it was an alright tag team match. Maybe this feud will keep going somewhere. So yeah, pretty much also to add on to tonight's show, uh, the Hardys showing Jeff Hardy's dirt bike accident and everything, which forced Matt Hardy and them. What was are they gonna give up the tag team titles tonight? What's gonna happen? Mickey James pretty much pissed at Storm, saying she wasn't happy about this and everything, and I felt she felt disrespected. And Jeremy Boris pretty much had Matt Hardy come in the ring, Jeff, and he said Jeff's in a lot of pain. And he said, every what you see Jeff Hardy on TV is not a gimmick, it's not a character. This is Jeff Hardy 24/7, 24/7 every day. And pretty much, um, and 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 like Daredevil. He's a Daredevil. He says he can't stop him. He's not happy with it. Well, they were forced to give the tag team championship championships, and pretty much Matt Hardy says he's gonna home and think about. This to see what's next for him, and maybe I guess until Jeff Hardy's better or something. Did that dirt bike accident was sick? He's Jeff Hardy's broken his leg. He has a broken tibia, so we don't know when Jeff Hardy will be back in TNA. But then, pretty much, um, Aries and um, Bobby Roode came out the Dirty Heels, and they talk about the tag team champions, which is almost kind of, type kind of true. Is it a curse every time he held those tag team titles? Because two teams have gotten hurt. The Wolves and Edwards got hurt. Jeff Hardy got hurt, even though it wasn't in the ring. And he says they want to go for the tag team championships. Eric said he would go after Eric Young when the time comes and everything, but they want a ta tag team titles now, and they want them around their waist because they're they the best. Until old Davey Richards came out talking about, yeah, he talked about the Wolves Nation and everything. So he says, uh, Davey, um, we know you're a great tag team, there's only one wolf. But then he called out his partner, pretty much Eddie Edwards, Eddie Edwards was back. Everybody chanted, welcome back. He said, it's just been cleared today. And he says, they're challenging Aries and Rue for a best of five series for the tag team championships. Which will mostly be really good for the next five weeks. I, li I like the best of five series in the past with the Motor City Machine Guns and Beer Money. See who's the best tag team. So, the match was set for that, for the best of five series. That was going to go down. Drew Galloway was talking to um, Matt Hardy in the back, saying that. And you're texting and it says, um, Neither's gonna walk away from the fight, he says. But you gotta do something to keep, to keep going. Angelina Love was talking about, came out with a romance, and awesome Kong, and Gail Kim, and the boss. That nobody doesn't care about it, that she's the best knockout ever. Until Velvet Sky came through the crowd with a new look, and pretty much, um, uh, Gail, pretty much, not Gail, um, Angelina said, Okay, we know you got fired a few months ago and everything, but get back now, try to be cool with him, but Velvet Sky's expression that changed. She pretty much looked at Angie Love and attacked her after that as security came in break breaking out. So I kind of knew she was going to return since Bully Ray returned to TNA. So that was kind of bound to happen. Uh, backstage, Eric was talking to Bully Ray then. 
about uh, tonight's match. Listen, he said, I just came back for referee. That's it. And it's Kurt Angle winning against Eric Young for the World Heavyweight Championship with Bully Ray as the special guest referee. Pretty much calling it down the middle, he says. As the match pretty much went on, the BDC came out was going to get involved. And pretty much when the match went on and everything, the ref got knocked out. And Chris Melendez came to help. And the rise of pretty much fighting off the BDC to the back after Eric Young um, pretty much low blow Bully Ray. He was going to go for a pile drive on him. But um, pretty much... Um, yeah, Bully Ray counter with a back body drop. Kurt Angle hit the angle slam and then hit the ankle lock. Pretty much in the submission for the win. Still holding the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, I don't know about the end. Yeah, I could have seen interference comes if they had to be DC involved. But it was good to see TNA live, Impact Wrestling back live again on TV. It's been a while, mostly since January. I'm sure, hopefully, the pay per view will be good coming in June. As Slammiversary returns, it's pretty much damn near been almost a whole year since TNA has been on pay-per-view live. If you want to count Bound for Glory in Japan, that's one thing also, but TNA is back. It's going to be live. Hopefully, it's going to be big. I thought the live show was really good tonight. So, once again, it's me. It's me, HWD, coming to news and reviews. You know I am, you know what I do. With the show, here we go. It's come today, the return of Bully Ray, and I'm done with this review of TNA. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Peace.